This weekend, they're celebrating one of television's best-loved comedies, the immortal Dad's Army. Some of the original cast are gathering at Bressingham near Dis for the opening of a new museum dedicated to Kathleen Menorin's platoon. And Claire is there now. Claire. Thanks, Helen, or should I say permission to speak, because this is Warmington-on-Sea, home to Captain Mannering and his band of the Home Guard. If you come with me over here, this is the Swallow Bank, where Captain Mannering worked with Pike and Sergeant Wilson. Over here, you can see Jones the Butchers, and if you follow me around here, this is Fraser's, the Undertakers. Now, lots of the props inside the shops are original from the series and from the 1940s, and this fire engine you probably recognise from lots of episodes. Quite a lot of the stuff uh, around comes from... Uh, the props that I've got in the shops comes from local areas. In fact, the post office, in fact, came from a small town south of Kings Lynn, uh, about 1926. Uh, we've been as accurate as it's possible at the time and that finances would allow. The Dad's Army Appreciation Society had approached Bressingham and asked them to house their collection of memorabilia, and the idea grew from there. They do say within a 30-mile radius of Thetford is the uh, Dad's Army filming country and all the villages and uh, towns around here are extensively used. And in fact, they did film in Bressingham. They filmed the episode All Is Safely Gathered In, just, just along the road, and they used the uh, traction engine from uh, Bressingham to do it. Well, you must recognise this. This is, of course, the Captain Mannering. Well, you must recognise this. This is, of course, Captain Mannering's office where all of his operations were planned from. And if you just follow me through here, we should be able to find not just the writers, but the members of the cast. Clive Dunn, oh, Corporal hello. Jones. How what's it you? like? What's it like to be back in Warmington? Oh, I, I haven't been there yet. <laughs> well, oh, here you mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What can I say? It's wonderful. And you're obviously enjoying the uh, hospitality. Well, I'm. No, I brought these with me. <laughs> Not on duty tonight, then. But I, I, like, I like all these two chaps here. You see this chap and that chap and that chap. They're all sweet and kind and lovely, and they're old friends. Good to be back That's together again. That's the best again. part. What about me? I'm not a chap. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> not what I've heard. Now, That's moving right. along here, I have to speak to Jimmy. Jimmy Perry, the writer, the, whose idea it originally was. Now, you were in the Home Guard, of course. Yes, as a little boy. I want to stress that, <laughs> because I'm very old now. I was 50 and very aggressive and had stripped down a submachine gun oh. in 30 oh. seconds. Disgusting. <laughs> now, when you wrote the series originally, did you realise that 32 years on it was going to be as popular as this still? Listen, no idea at all. I wanted some money. I met <laughs> David Croft. I said, I've written a thing. He said, oh, really? And he was marvellous. He said, this is great. Let's do it together. It's really... Pe Legends go up over the years, don't they, Dad? Absolutely. And it's as simple as that. And the most exciting thing about Dad's Army, the day I got my first cheque, I thought, this is wonderful. We'll do some... <laughs> You're right, David? Absolutely. People all say, oh, I would... I didn't do any of that. Do you do any of that? They, never, <laughs> they never have an argument, these two, yeah? I'm Whatever sure they he don't. Says, he says, absolutely. <laughs> don't you agree with that? I certainly do. Now That's why they're still talking to each other. Of course. Now, some more familiar faces along here. Mrs Fox and the vicar, of course, Pamela Cundell and Frank Williams. What's it like to all be back together again? Wonderful. Do you have, absolutely wonderful. Do you absolutely. have good memories of being in Norfolk? 
Oh, yes. I can, this brings back great memories of fighting with Captain Mannering about whose church hall it was, and it was mine. It really was mine. <laughs> and I understand you uh, You're very angry. Oh, wonderful. Look here. What's the point? What are you going to do with it? Well, I think that they'll be out in a minute. We'll start throwing over the, uh, the potatoes and the carrots and the cabbages out there. I very much hope not. Perhaps we can uh, use it for the, the party afterwards. Well, that's right. Is it going on, on show eventually in the area of this museum? Well, I'm uh, pretty sure it is, and I'm not sure the carrots will last for very long. Anyway, there is going to be someone else who was always having a fight with Captain Mannering. Bill Perchie, now I need you to come with me because we've got a bit of a surprise for you. I know that uh, in the series you had a greengrocer's cart and you were always getting into trouble for leaving it places, weren't you? Yes. Although we never actually saw this cart. Oh. And I understand that you, uh, you've always wanted one. So, look what we've got for you today. Oh. Your very own greengrocer's oh, cart. Oh, wonderful. Look here. Oh, I don't know quite no. what you're going to do with it. Well, I think that they'll be out in a minute and start throwing the, the, uh, the potatoes and the carrots and the cabbages at me. I very much hope not. Perhaps that's, we can uh, that's great. use it for the, the party afterwards. Well, that's right. Is it going on, on show eventually in here in this museum? Well, I suppose I'm it is. pretty sure it is, although I'm not Wonderful. sure the carrots will last for very long. There's not the actual... I'll never forget that. Oh, great. As Greg has said, there's nothing in the script here. Just get on <laughs> Get him all there fresh. 